Okay, sorry about that. Um, T, we're not doing anything with Fox today. T was a an option trade that I called um, last week that was a great call. Um, and some of you, I guess, killed it. So we'll talk about this when we're done. But today is your exit on this today. So you must determine yourself if you're going to watch how this trades. If this holds the gap up into the open, I would stay with the trade. Targets 48, 49, 50 is a dream target. It's, it was at 49 this morning. If you get out of this right here, it's a great trade. Get out of it into the open. It could fall. I did not rate this because we're not going to do it. It's already a trade that's on, so I'm just trying to let people know that are in the option trade. You, If you manage this today, though, you won't be doing the day trades into the open. Or you don't care about it, you're up. You let it, let it continue. Even if this falls today, you'll be up from where I called the trade. It was a great call. It was a fantastic call. Um, and some of you killed it. So we'll go over that when we're done. Um, as far as the market, I don't care about that today. The things that we're looking at here are completely on our own, 100%. I do like Oracle. It's at the first target right now. We got four more minutes here. Starbucks it does not rate as good as I thought it would, but it's still probably going to work. But the rating not being over 20 could mean that it simply is a little bit sloppy in the setup or sets up late. So let's just focus on Oracle today. And if for some reason um, Oracle doesn't work, then we'll look at Starbucks. I am talking. Can everybody hear me? I'm speaking. Koala Bear wrote something about the mic and Mimi. I am talking. So if you can't hear me, then you got to sign out and sign back in. Not that you'd hear me say that if you can't hear me. Um... Do, 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 do. Let's see where Amazon is. Probably nobody is still in this, but I don't know. Is anyone still in Amazon? I called another good trade in this, an option trade that's going to the target today. This will get to 1750. Is anyone in this one? I really didn't go over it because it was a little bit expensive, but it worked. Devods, did you do this? It's a beast. Where did it go this morning? 1747. Oh, Debaz was in and out already. Yeah, I, I mean, that was very expensive. Netflix is well over 400. It's not earning season, just simple reminder. Look at this beautiful, gorgeous Netflix. This is crazy. thing is going without us. There's nothing we can do. <laughs> There's absolutely nothing we can do. Well, all the numbers that I gave now are going to be different in the room. All the targets are resistance. If you're here for the open house or in a trial, listen and watch. You're not going to understand what we do. We're looking to short Oracle. When I call the trade, though, you don't understand what I'm doing, don't do it. Oh my gosh, look at this go. It's going to go to 43 right now. This is crazy. <gasps> wow. Here it goes, Oracle. All right, we just got to wait now. That had an enormous move into the open. Well, if this doesn't set up, I'm going to be looking at Starbucks. Okay, 
Okay, I'm flipping and watching Starbucks here. Oracle is not ready. And I don't have the entry yet. But the stop's going to be 55, 55, 55, Don't have the entry yet. Wow, this is going to. All right, this is just going. I, 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 I'm not in anything. I'm watching Starbucks, and it just had a huge bar, too. Let's see if we can get into Starbucks. Oracle's already going. I don't know if this is going to back up right, though. Not in anything. you got to wait. Wait. Big moves here in the pre-market in these stocks. All right, Starbucks. Fifty-five ten is a stop, and I don't have the entry. And I don't have anything to tell you about this yet here at all. So we're just making sure that we get everything perfect today, which we do every day. So. Okay, Starbucks. This is not going to be a small stop. We're going to do 25 by 95. 25 by 95 Starbucks if it hits. It has a big target if it hits. Kind of want to watch Oracle too. Twenty-five by ninety-five Starbucks is valid. I'm watching Oracle also out of the corner of my eye. I'm trying to get something here. No one should be in anything yet. And if we get a better entry in Starbucks, I'll tell you Oracle hasn't set up. Well, we're not in anything yet. We just have to wait. No one should be in anything at all yet, at all. Nothing at all yet whatsoever. Okay, Starbucks. might not set up at all that's crazy here we're watching Starbucks not in anything watching 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 okay Starbucks 70 by 10 wow 70 by 10 if that hits is on 70 by 10 Starbucks Try not to jump the gun. Here, take it. Take it if you want it. Starbucks, get in it. Put the stop in. Get the stop in Starbucks. One move. Back. Let's give it 15. 55, 15 for Starbucks. Short. And I'll watch Oracle. Well, I'm in this now. I thought it was going to hit 70. Did it? No, it didn't. Here, it just did. We're fine. I did jump the gun a little bit on that. Oracle might be over and there was nothing to do wow that's really interesting wow here starbucks 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 we have to get something today we can't control the fact that oracle went to every target in the world before the open what are you going to do here starbucks let's get something target is 54 be in it if you want it and let's just look at what's happening with this thing here nothing really much at all oh yeah i can't even believe that well we didn't get trapped in that puppy here starbucks if you want it if you want it, you're in it. Stop is 55.15. Oracle may have made the move into the pre-market and right into the open. It basically did it just did it all five minutes before the open. We were watching it. We saw it. So be in Starbucks if you like it, if you want it. Oh, you know what else? I should have looked at all these things today. I forgot about them. I was so organized about the other ones. 
team, maybe. Let's look at what this is doing here. I didn't read any of these things. I completely forgot about them. And no one reminds me. Ugh. No, Oracle is a bust. No one should be an Oracle at all. No one should be long it. No one should be short it. Wow. I cannot believe that was not what I expected to happen here. This is it. This is the only play we're getting today. Let's look at Fox. Okay, what's everybody doing with this that's in the option? What are you doing right in the room? What are you doing? Are you out? Are you taking it out? What are you up? Everyone that's in the option trade in this, which I called last week, are you taking it out? Are you still holding through it? What are you doing? You better know. And you should have known before the open, and that's why I told everybody. You got to know what you're doing with these trades. I mean, here, Starbucks, and especially the options trades, because here, Starbucks, what a nice call. I'm on point today, people, 936. Everybody should be in this. And actually, it was a better stop than originally. Oh my gosh, we could have gotten caught in Oracle by the seat of our pants and we would have we would have lost. It didn't work. It's not gonna work. Don't do it. it. Went over 44. Here, Starbucks, you have to be in it if you want it. Target's 54. I believe that it gets there, and then we'll see how it acts, and we're probably just gonna be out. I don't know where the market goes a second today. 26 is the low. Nice call. You could even piecemeal some of it out here if you're scared or you're sketchy. And remember, it's not earning season. Which somebody reminded me, thank you. I think it was Vincent. What's everyone doing about box up, write it. Did anyone get out? Is anyone holding it? Brett, are you here? Here, Starbucks under 40, we should break. Low was 26. Nice call. Here it goes, let it, let it drop, let it drop, let it drop. Brett said it, the spreads are ridiculous. Of course they are, because people are probably jumping in that puppy today. <laughs> That's why. People are getting in that puppy today. Here, Starbucks. That thing is being traded today. Traded. Here, Starbucks. Here, 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 under the low. It's not earning season, but we still can make money. Here we go, through the low. Oh, crap, it didn't do it. 26, watch it, watch it, watch it. No piggy targets. Howard, are you listening? Some of you were pigs yesterday with the market. Here, 25. Don't be a pig today. Here, out, out, out. Good trade, solid trade. If you're still in it, fine. No piggies. It's not earning season. T, what did you do? Did you get out? That was a good call. If you're still in it, that's fine. Next target's 54, but I'm not giving back the full amount that I'm trying to look to get. I'm not giving back 25 cents to make 25 cents. That's stupid. I'm not doing that. If you're in this, you can't change the stop. What you could have done yesterday, and I actually didn't mention this because I don't trade like this, but you could have. In the market yesterday, you could have put the stop at break even. You could do this with here right now. If you really fully believe 150% that this is going, and it's still going, then you could put the stop at break even. But that's really not the place the stop should be. So I really would be out of this. It just moved slightly more in there. You could bar by bar it. That was a nice call. So you could put the stop at 30. You could hold it, hold it, hold it. You could get out here. You could put the stop at 30. It's right at the next number. Here it goes. Once this bounces, though, it's going to bounce hard and fast. It's going to go poop. So just be careful. Koala Bear is only at a half. Koala Bear, where do you think this is going? It's not going to $50 today on its own. So I don't, I don't know where you think this is going. I don't know why you wouldn't get out of this whole trade. This was a really nice call. In fact, let's go over it. Fox to hit your limit at the open? I don't know what you mean, Jackie. You mean you had an order out for it to fill? Is that what you did? What's the price of this right now without me looking it up really quickly, everybody? 47.75, what's the high? What's the price of the option right now? Who's in this still right now? I'm looking at it and watching it. Who's still in it? Who's in Fox right now? And what's the price of the open? Give me the spread. Someone said it's really wide. Jackie sold it. I'll just watch this here a little bit and tell you what I think this is going to do here today because I really haven't been focused on this. 
145 by 280, that's not a big deal. My God, Amazon does that in a second. This is it. You don't want this to break the low right in here. So if you're in this trade and it holds right in here, stay with it. If not, then you got to sell out of it. And how, with the spreads as it is, you got to throw an order out, and that's what it is. You want to trade these things, that's what it is. If this holds a low, stay with the trade and stay with it, it's going to run. I don't know if that happens. You got to watch. This is a wild one. You're ready in it, you're ready up. And everyone should be up nicely in this. Uh, but I'm saying do not let it break 47.26. And if it doesn't, this should go, and it should go to $49 and $50 today. It'll be an even bigger trade if you can stay with it. But if it goes down in there, you're going to have to throw an order out. Just to let it fill you out. You're just going to throw it out. If it doesn't fill you, kill it, throw it out again, or you just fill it where you have to get filled. That's how you're going to have to play these things. And you should be knowing how to do that when you have ones like Amazon anyways that are really will move fast where you're, you're up a lot, and then it starts to drop against you, and then it moves and that's what happens. It's the same way with day trading, really. This looks like it's going to hold. Holy crap. Galahad, are you still in it? And how many do you have? Fox says on Sony doesn't need the market. Let's take a look at Netflix. Let's take a look at Amazon. No one's in this still, but it's this worked out beautifully, too. This, this is even probably going to go to the dream target, I said, for this. And I think everyone's out of this. But I know that was a big move. This looks like it's going to hold. Let's look at Disney. Let's look at Oracle. Oracle, don't short this. Don't go long it. This is a bust. We won't cry our blues, though. Starbucks worked. No more setups in this. You should have done it or you're still in it. And you put the stop at break even if you believe it's going. It basically got to 54. It's trying again to break. We'll see. You had a preset target. It hit it in the open. You doubled your money. Get out. Jackie, that's very consistent here starbucks is breaking through the low is anyone in the world still in this trade it's a nice call actually i saw this last night and i thought oh well even if we don't have anything today we'll have this um triple seven i don't have any thoughts right now in the market today too early to tell that's my thoughts 943 too early to tell no i would not go long this if you didn't get out of the short yesterday when it dropped and fell which we were going to go over the short for Howard for the day trade. If you held it through, then you're in this, but follow your money management rules as usual. Some of you asked me what I think of the chart. If I told you it looks fabulous, would you stay with the trade and deny your money management? If I told you I hated it, would you kill the trade even if you're not down? That's the kind of questions you have to ask yourself. And by the way, that's one of the mistakes Galahad has made. He said, this chart looks great. I don't, I'm not going to think about my money management. And see, then you change your mind every second. And although I'm better at reading charts than Galahad, it's still not a good rule of thumb to change your money management based on the chart because then you don't have consistent results. There's nothing different in here. The fact that we gapped up today doesn't cha not change the look of anything I saw when I called the trade. So you really have to follow your rules. Do I think all of a sudden now today the market's going to fly and make new highs and do something crazy? The answer is no. Where do I think we look at 4 o'clock Eastern time? I'm telling you it's too early for me to tell. So that's what I'm saying. So whatever your money management rules are, follow it. Would I short Oracle? The answer is no, Dollar Bill. I said, I said that a couple times this morning. No, Oracle is off today. It's not a short. It's not a long. It didn't work. It made the move into the pre-market. That occasionally happens, but we didn't get caught in it today. And I'm giving myself a round of applause for A, not getting sucked into Oracle, and B, for picking the right one and not wasting any time. And we don't have time to waste, and we have no time to waste at all, and even less time now than before. So low in this, if you're still in it, was 09, I believe. And it's trying to go some more, but I'd really watch the next number and see where it goes. I am out. This was a great call. Here, Starbucks. Brent just got filled at 240. There you go. That's a good fill. So how much money did you make? You killed half the trade or more than half the trade. I know you emailed me that. So how much did you make in what you made? And how much would you have made if you hadn't killed it? I want you to write those numbers. And... And if anyone's else in this, you better listen to what I'm saying here now about this. 
Jackie says, good job. Oh, you know what else I wanted to look at? What should I call it? Comcast. Completely forgot to look at this one. This is probably selling off. Let's look. surprised this isn't doing something more but it's not oh, they're just gonna try to hold so Brent got out gala how are you still on it is anyone still on Foxa the option trade I did not call day trade and no one should short this and if you're in this it's continuing Galahad, are you going to follow my rules about, whatchamacallit, Foxa? Starbucks I'd be out of. I mean, I'd just be out of. This was a non-earnings gap. It was a gap on news. It didn't rate over 20. You should never do a 19-point rate gap without my direction anyways. It really didn't meet the honey mustard. But I saw it. I saw it. I saw what it did. It, it, we did it. I would not hold this to some crazy number. And it's not because of the market. It's because of the quality of the gap. It didn't get a high rating but I saw that it was okay to do it. It wasn't just because Oracle wasn't going to work. I saw something in here, and we'll go over it in a second, but I just want to catch up on everything we're doing. Nobody's in Amazon anymore, even though it's still running. Uh, the SPY, you guys got to do your money management rules, which you have to follow. I don't see any reason there to kill the trade just for so. Fox up was a huge call, and, you know, some of you killed some of it, some of you killed all of it. Galahad, you do not always follow my rules. That is so, that is the biggest lie of today. That's fake news. <laughs> Galahad, that's fake news. Um, but I hope that you follow what I'm saying here now. <laughs> totally fake. Brent, you sold that and got out and paid 240. What did you originally pay for the trade? Jackie made 468.75. Good job. T made 504 on a trial. Sounds good to me. All right, let's watch Fox. And I'm going to look and see. Would I redo Starbucks? Oh my God, some of you are greedy bastards. Why would you want to redo this again? Try and trade her. You should be happy. Look. No, I would not redo this. <laughs> if you're in it, you're in it. I don't see any reset up in here. If for some reason you would retake this, it would be three hours from now. Yay! Brent made $1,055 on Foxa. He could have made $1,550. That's amazing. Uh... Trend Trader doesn't want to redo it. Okay, good. No, there's no reset up in here right now. The stock is literally selling off. The stock is just selling off. It's just, it's sold off. As soon as we took it, it sold off every second since. And maybe I got out of this a little early, but it's not earning season. And that's our mantra every morning now to remind ourselves, not earning season, not earning season, not earning season. And then when it becomes earning season, guess what we're going to say? It's earning season. We're going to get up every morning and say that. <laughs> And then we can hold to bigger moves. But this did make a bigger move. So let's go over it. Oh, there it goes again. Koala bear still in it. No, I would not retake this. This is this is this is done. It's toasty points. Nice move in here. Fell, dropped, rallied. We did it at a perfect entry with a really good stop and got it. Got the push. Got one more push down in here. It was beautiful. Really no place to move the stop unless you want to put it at break even. If you stay with the trade, bar by barring, it worked. You got the last push down and even here too. I mean, look at this. You almost got another, you got another 40 cents. I mean, I don't know if this even halts here. This is just, I mean, no one's buying this. This really worked very, very nicely. Unfortunately, Oracle, now I'm going to put this information over here so you can see. We saw it. You heard it in my voice if you were listening to me talk. I was like, uh, it was like somebody just burst my bubble. Like we were watching this here. 
like, what was this time? It was not, it was not, literally, it was two minutes for the open. I was watching this, and then that was 9.29, and I was like, uh, uh. <laughs> and then we couldn't do it. <laughs> so I really didn't waste any time on this today. Um, this is called Orbis T. It's a, you can sign up for this and pay for it if you want. I can send you the link. I sent you I, uh, two emails today. I didn't finish sending you the rest of the emails. Um, I had to get ready to trade. So I will follow up with you with the class information, the broker referrals, all the stuff you wanted. Sorry. But don't short Oracle. Um, let's look at what's out for tonight. The box a hold. It is holding. Oh my lantia. If box a holds and the clock goes to 10 000, zero, 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 this will hold. If this holds here by 10 o'clock, it will hold all day. And this trade will go. And that is crazy bird. Let's see what's out tonight. I've been making some nice calls here, even though it's not earning season. Let's see. Tonight is the 20th. The 20th of June? Oh my God. The 20th of June? It's almost July 4th. Summer's, summer's already started and All right, tonight, oh, FDX. I just want to see what that did. That did fall. FDX did fall. I never even bothered to look at that. It was very expensive. I like the other ones. So that fell too. Mew. Mew is out tonight. Mew and tomorrow morning there's a lot. So there was, there's a lot tomorrow morning, the grocers are tomorrow morning, but Mew is tonight. So you can watch Mew here. I don't know what it does, but you can watch it. FDX did have a big move this morning. I did mention it yesterday. Did it, did somebody do this? It, it actually... I'm seeing this here, triple seven. Yes, I mean, this did set up. I didn't check the volume. I actually didn't even write the gap. This was last night. There it was. It did have, it did have volume. I didn't even talk about this this morning. I doubt anybody did it. Um, Starbucks. You can look at this and see this right here. It was both Trend Trader. This was a really, really, really nice. I mean, it, this was perfect, actually, the way that this set up. So. I, we would not have done this, literally, if this would not have been as perfect as it was. So, um, uh, you know, and also everyone should be out of this, in my professional opinion. I mean, I said you could exit it in here, but I definitely would be out of this now. This is going to lift. But th if this, this, remember, this didn't get a high rating. But at 19, it's a 50-50 chance of working or not. I wouldn't do it without my guidance. But this really acted like an angel, whereas Oracle did not act like an angel. Um, and both had volume. Both had significant volume in the pre-market, which is fine, which is good. It's not It's not bad. But, at, it, you know, unfortunately, Oracle moved. In fact, let's just see where was the low. Because we didn't really... 4321. This is nothing, but that's where it landed. So you see this here? I mean, and it, and, it, and it actually looks like it's getting bought here now. So you can see the chart in Oracle, and you can see what it did. 
it just unfortunately did not want to cooperate today as a day trade but you certainly cannot buy this here but it does look like somebody is but for the reasons that we know we're not going long this yes trend trader let's check out fox again we're getting close to the 10 o'clock period in fact i'm going to call a day trade in here if anybody wants it i'm not doing it because it's not earning season and no piggies but if you want to go long Fox and this setup today, I'm going to give you a call. And this is probably going to work, which is even more insane. <clears throat> do not do it, though, until it hits, if it does. In fact, I'm going to give you a wide stop in this. You want to go long Foxa, and I'm not doing this, and I'm not keeping the room open for this, but I'm giving this to you if any of you want to do it. Look, let's see, let's see, let's see if this does. It's got three more minutes here. It's got to hold by 10 o'clock. Literally, when the news came out about Disney's offer, like the news came out that Fox accepted, it was like within, like, I don't even know if it was 60 seconds. I don't even know if it was a full minute from the time I got the news alerts of the one and the other. I mean, it was just like, woo, and that's that. I will say one thing. What about 46.50? Nothing's 46.50. Nothing's 46 anything, Koala Bear. I'm looking at Foxa. The stock's trading at 47.43. Are you talking about something else or Oracle? Here's what I wrote. This is Foxa if you want to do it. This is the entry if you want to do it. I'm not doing this. But this is it if you want to do it. It's not 46 anything. I think this is going to hold. So that trade is valid if anybody wants to do it. And for those of in your option, it's probably going to get to 49 or 50 today. You have to sit all day and watch it. In fact, let's just estimate here now what I think that's going to be worth in the option chain. I'll just give you an idea here. Because you could, what you could do if you don't want to watch this all day, because I think this runs, is put an order out. Now, if it doesn't get hit, though, that it doesn't get hit. I would get out of this today, though. Do not hold this trade past today. Let me just see here. I think this is going to be worth at 49 or 50. This is a nice call. And I didn't even give it out long. That was a great decision, too. Um, what is today? The 20th? Wow, spread is really wide on it now. <laughs> see how it, the longer it holds, the more that it's, it's, do you see how it's even getting stronger the longer it's holding? I mean, let's just see here. It's 10, 10 now. Oh, you know what? There's, here, no, I can figure it out. Hold on. 47. Goes up $3.
if this gets to $50 today, which I do not know if it does or not, it cannot break the area, which I said, which it's not, um, this could be worth around four something. So not quite double in price from where it's at now, but at least 50% more than the value now, I think. Yeah, Brett just said it. It's going to be worth four something. I, I don't know if you'd be ever to get filled over five. I have no I, I That's that. It's probably going to be somewhere, but you probably wouldn't get filled at five. But it'll be worth four something, I think, if it gets up there. But this has to hold here right now. So I don't know here now. It's 10. I said by 10, it's coming in. It's, you know. Koala Bear, are you still in this trade? I don't know what you want for this if you're still in it. I mean, this is a good trade. No, you're flat. Okay. All right. Does anyone have any questions about anything at all today? Good, solid day. People weren't here at the open house. I don't know if you understand what I did. When I call the trade, the first number is the entry. The second one's a stop. We always use stops. We use hard stops. At least I do. I know not everybody does, but you should, and I teach you to do that. Um, had two washes today. Sometimes I don't know what I'm doing because you don't know which one's going to set up. Good choice today to go with Starbucks. It worked. Oracle failed. Fox, it was a great option call that I called very early last week, and I felt very confident that that would make a continuation move at some point within the time I called it, and it did. So that worked out really well for the people that did it. Um, this is look like it's it's not done, though. Look at that. I really honestly wouldn't get back in it. Now, girl says, nice day. Great. Some big numbers on the board today from people for options trades, for day trades. Some, some really nice numbers here for people. I just would not let this money get away from you. This looks like it's holding. It, it is holding so far. As long as it holds here, this is going to fly. But I would not hold this trade past today. Could it continue past today? Sure. Would that be the right thing to do when the stock gaps up $2 plus overnight and made a move like it did in the pre-market this morning and could even today on a non-related earnings gap? No, don't hold this. Don't, don't take chances that, are, that you don't need to take. This is a huge trade. And I'm sure most of you wish that you had taken more. But you still have to follow your money management rules. You really can't just say, I'm going to risk the farm on this one more than any other one. But you probably could have risked the farm on this. And why some of you killed it? I mean, Brent, you've got to do the class. I mean, there. I mean, for you to kill this trade because the stock was red in here, I don't know where where were you thinking it would do. I mean, it's, <laughs> this didn't. This never did anything wrong. You gotta know how to read what's happening in the chart. What's happening with institutional buying or selling? The reason this was so spready today specifically is because it's going to be an active option today, probably all day. There are probably people, some people, guess what? They are selling this. They are buying the put. They think this is going to drop. They think this is going to fall. They think it's going to fill the gap. At 10 f 4 here now, it doesn't look like that's happening. That's, that's a dumb trade anyways. Stuff like that doesn't work. This stock, it looks great to me. And I said that for the last two weeks. And it was a great call. And so was Starbucks, and it's still going. Wow. Look at that. Uh, Cal, weren't you here? Um, here. We did it. Boom. I got in a little bit early, but I said 70. Didn't matter. First I said 70, 10, then I said give it a little bit more, put it at 15. Again, that didn't even matter. So whether you did it with 30 cents or 40 cents or 45 cents or whatever, it was a good, solid call. Got the drop, boom. Went down to the first target, fell, broke, kept going. In fact, I don't even know if I even gave, I don't think I gave any targets past the first target. I don't think I gave any targets past 54. I mean, obviously this continued. I think this got to 53.50 or something like that. Yeah, it did. 
show, you could have gotten more than a buck if you held it all the way down. In fact, bar by bar, and it would have worked. Fifteen, fifty-five, ten was when I called it, and then I, I said move it. But five cents isn't going to kill anyone. And this is not an exact science in reference to sizing. What is an exact science? Quickly, somebody write it in the room. I have a lot of things to do today. Go. What's an exact science? Whether I, whether you, whether I say whether it's 31 cents or 36 cents, this is not an exact science. What is an exact science, though? What is? Whether you size the cells for, put the stop at 55.10 or 55.15, what is an exact science? Mimi says money management. Not necessarily, because you could try to risk $500 a day, and I'm not going to say, oh, you're horrible for if you risk $550 one day and $475 the next. So it's, that's really not an exact science either. You rough it because you've got to get in the train. What is an exact science? Here, I'll write it in the room for you, Cal, because you said you're here, but I don't understand what you're saying. This was the call initially, and then I changed it. And then I said this, but you said you're here, so I don't, I don't know. Is Koala Bear saying sizing? No, that's the same thing, that's the same thing Mimi is saying. No, triple seven is saying the entry and the gap, and Vincent is saying repeatable and reliable results. Well, that's true. T is saying support is an exact science. No. Koala Bear saying sizing once you have the numbers. Triple seven has got it. Physics is an exact science, that's true. The set losses, no, no. You, you guys are missing the point. If you go to take a trade, your most important thing that you should do in the day, the most important thing, the absolute most important thing that you gotta do right is you gotta get the stock pick right, which we do. That's an exact science that you have to get right because there's no two if ands, ands about it. If you went long Starbucks today that was completely the opposite directional bias to take this trade, this stock was not along, you would have lost money. Theoretically, I could look at a one minute chart and look at three green bars and say you could have made money if you bought it here and sold it there, but there would have been no reason to do that and no wherewithal or thought process to do so. So the exact science is really getting the directional bias right. And that's where you have to get that right. And, and I try to make the entries an exact science too, which quite frankly today this really was, which Trend Trader caught on to. He got it. But the point is though that I try very hard to make an exact science with the entries. But your sizing is not an exact science. And neither is the pennies of the entry, which... I don't, I don't think Cal gets either, but he's not a student yet. Whether you have to get in the train, you do not want to risk $1,000 if you normally risk 500. Yes, that's true. But whether you hit the stock and get filled at 55.71 or 55.70 or 55.68, it is not as significant as making sure you get it, number one, and two, that you're in the train short. Because you don't want to go long Starbucks when I'm calling it at 54.70. You would have been screwed. You would have lost. In fact, from the time I called that entry, the stock has never seen that price. Look at it. I mean, look at this, people. This is how good I am. If you shorted the stock today, you're still in it, and you're still up, and you could have put the stop at break even, like I said, and you'd still be in the trade. I don't trade like that because I just say, we get in, we get out. We get in, we get out. We get in, we get out. But the bottom line is, it's never going back to that price. What you've got to get right is the direction. And you've got to be able to see the gap and know that it's going to go there. Just like this. This did not do what I wanted it to do today. I'm going over to Oracle. This did not do what I wanted it to do. It, it, Gyro signed out. I don't know if he ended up doing Starbucks because he really liked Oracle. I don't know if he didn't do anything today. He might not have. He didn't say. But I'm telling you that this, I, I saw this in the morning. I rated this. We watched the gap. But then I saw it fall right into the open and you heard it in my voice, those of you that know me. And then we watched it into the open and actually I didn't even watch it then. When this happened here, you saw me. I then went, uh, and then I went to look around. 
Because I knew even if this was going to go, that wasn't ready there. And then that didn't look right. And then that looked even worse. So if we had done this, we would have lost. You would have gotten stopped out. We never would have shorted this rally and gotten out here with profit. There's no way we would have done that. It was 30 cents, but we wouldn't have gotten out. We would have gotten stopped. And I can tell you right now, there's some people that did short this. But anyways, the point is, though, that the, the essence of what you have to get that is the exact science is shorting things that are correctly selling off and buying things that are correctly rising in price correctly. That is it. And the entries I try to get is exact science, too. Very often, I'm able to do that. But sometimes it, it doesn't give it to you. Sometimes it just doesn't, the stock doesn't give it. I mean, I can't think of any right now. What was, there was something last week. What was the one, or was it two weeks ago? There was something that I said, oh, this is, we can't day trade this. This is like crazy town. What was it? There was something that just like was acting so bizarre. Like, oh gosh, it opened and then it, it had red bars, but it was weird. Does anyone remember? What was it? There was something that worked and it actually gapped and it actually fell, but it was like, it was like looking at something that didn't make any sense at all. It was like untradeable. And it wasn't a lot of tails. It was the way the bars looked and were trading. Does anybody remember that? Like I remember seeing that. I can picture it in my mind, but I forget the stock symbol. Oracle was red in the day for about three seconds. Went down, open at 43.51. Went down, low is 43.21. Oracle was red today for 30 cents for about three seconds we watched it. 